My name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align, and today I'm going to discuss the setup of the 3GX MRS. This new flywireless system enables you to utilize both Spectrum DSM2, DSMX, as well as Futaba FHSS. This can be utilized inside of your 250, 450, and even a T Rex 500. But for today, I want to set up a 250 showing the spectrum system and we'll also show the setting up of the model and how you select the model type for programming the flybarless unit. So let's get started. We're going to need one T-Rex 250 helicopter. We'll need the uh, battery that's required for the 250 to do this process and in order to uh, actually program the unit we're going to need to take off the landing gear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in tight on here for you so you can see what I need to do and that way you'll be able to set up yours at home. All right, so, so we have our 250 T-Rex here plus bind to fly version here and we're going to utilize the Spectrum system. But in order to do that we need to remove these six lower frame screws that hold on the uh, lower base plate and the landing gear. We're going to take those off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the frame here, pop this out, and then screw this there. And it just pops out like that. And now we can see the 3GX MRS unit right here. Okay, you'll notice that it's mounted inverted, so the face is pointing towards the landing skids. And this is the way you want to leave it. You also want to make sure that the antennas, these two antennas here, are facing forward. Okay, so they're facing the front of the helicopter. It's really important. And so what we're going to do in order to uh, select which unit we want to use, such as the T-Rex 250, 450, 450 plus, and or the 500, we're going to need to use a bind plug. Okay. So, all right. We're looking at our T-Rex 250 with the lower base plate and landing gear removed. And right now we have the bind plug plugged into the aileron port. This is for selecting the 250 flight profile in the uh, 3GX MRS here and we also have the throttle cable plugged in for power that is plugged into our BEC slash speed control but you'll notice that I've actually pulled the wires from the motor so that way we don't inadvertently power the motor okay so just to be sh safe we're gonna do that what we need to do now though is hold the set button and then plug in the power so we're gonna hold the set button on the MRS here, we're going to hold the set button and then I'm going to plug in the power and then hold it down. And you'll notice that the status light right now is blinking once. This is to denote that it is in the 250 configuration via this bind port. So it's programmed itself with the onboard software and letting itself know that it's actually going to be used on a 250. Now if we wanted to change this configuration to say a 450 all we have to do is move that bind plug down to elevator and that would be the 450 like your 450 plus or sport models. If you moved it down to the pitch that would be like the 450 pro model and if you wanted to go up to a 500 that would be the rudder channel there that you plug the bind port into. Okay, so this, this would get you enabled to selecting which model you want to use. So that's, that's what uh, basically sets up the model selection for the 3GX MRS. So we've done model selection. Once you've done that, you can power down the unit and get ready for the next process, which is the bind process for your 3GX MRS. So let's get started with that. Alright, 
we've just done model selection with our T-Rex 250 Plus helicopter here and we're about to go into the actual buying process. Uh, this is for Spectrum Radio Systems. Um, currently uh, I have a DSM-X type satellite plugged into the auxiliary port here on the 3GX unit, the MRS. And before we get started, just to point out, the rudder channel receives the power from our ESC and the bind plug port is plugged directly into the throttle channel. I have disconnected the power to the ESC or from the ESC to the motor so that uh, there is no chance of the motor uh, having power, a power source. So let's get started. We have the bind plug in, throttle, the power into the rudder channel, and what we're going to do with the DSMX type satellite, we need to press and hold set. Set on our uh, 3GX MRS unit, and that's only for DSMX type satellites. If you were using DSM2, you're not required to hold set, but you are required to have the bind plug in and the power just as we have it here. So for the DSMX, we're going to hold set, and then we're going to apply power. You'll notice that our satellite is flashing. So we'll do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to power up our radio, holding the bind button down. DX8 radio, so let's hold bind, and then we'll switch on. Okay, you've got a solid satellite there, powered on, and just like you do with your spectrum systems, you go ahead and pull the bind, bind plug out here. Pull this out. And you notice the swash will dip and cycle there in the initialization process. But before we go further, why don't we get the throttle channel in its correct channel and uh, get the rudder back plugged in. So that is the bind process for DSMX and also DSM2 for your 3GX MRS system. So let's disconnect the power and we're going to pull the throttle channel out. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the rudder channel here. Plug that back in. All right, and we're going to plug back in our throttle here. All right, so now that that's all done, our wiring's all complete, we just plug that back into the unit here. And it's all clearly labeled, so your rudder's going to rudder, throttle's going to throttle. That's all been set now. Now all we need to do is install our landing gear. Tuck these wires in real quick. Alright, there's little tabs on the side of the frame that plug right in there. And now your 250 is almost ready. You need to reinstall those six screws sure we had taken out. Operating before we do that, again, we've done the model selection, which is the T-Rex 250, and we've also done the bind process up to this point. And I have my radio on, and now I've just connected the power. You'll notice that the swash plate dips up and down. And now we're going to check the control function here. Right, left, up, down. So let's see if you can see that there. That's up, that's down. It's left, right. And then we also want to make sure that the swash is working correctly. So when we move the helicopter to the left, the swash plate on the left should, should move up. So let's see so you can see that there. So it should counteract your movement. Same thing on the elevator here, so we'll do that. All right, 
that seems to work correctly. Now we'll check the tail. Let's see if you can see that here. Again, it should oppose. So if you move the tail, in this case, to the right, the nose is going to the right, this slider will move to the left to counteract. Okay, and that should be correct if it's moving as it should. We had taken it out of the frame and uh, it will be ready for flight. Now, as far as programming the, the radio, there is a CD included with your bind to fly helicopter and it gives you general numbers to get started with programming your helicopter type. In this case, for this SWAT system, you're using H1, so that's 90 degrees inside of the radio system. So make sure you do that, you're not using CCPM because all the mixing is done by the 3GX MRS unit. This concludes the binding process. Uh, you are now ready to take your helicopter out to flight after the basic programming. So I can plug this in, the power. The swash did its tilt. You can check the controls. Left, right, up, down, check the tail. Make sure everything's working correctly. And there you have it. You'll notice that there is no power applied. Again, that was for safety precautions because I disconnected these power leads here. But we can test all the flight controls prior to ever lifting off and see that the control functions are working correctly. This uh, should enable you to select the model type and also the bind process. Uh, if you have any questions or need further assistance, please contact me at jeff at alignrcusa.com or consult our website at www.align.com.tw. Thanks for watching. My name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align.